Good morning. Have a great day, everybody. Welcome back to school to all the kids. Now, here's the deal for the day today. First day of school, we're going to be on the rain-free side, and it's still going to be another toasty side. But we're also talking about Tropical Storm Debbie to near East Tennessee, and that's actually going to produce increase in high-level clouds and a chance for a couple of spotty showers. So let's go ahead and start you off with the future cast here this morning. Uh, pick up our timeline at 7 o'clock. You can see those high-level clouds out to our north and northeast. And as Debbie starts to work its way inland a little bit more so throughout the day today, one thing we'll notice is we'll have increasing high-level clouds, so we will see a little bit more cloud coverage, maybe some filtered sunshine, especially across uh, much of upper east Tennessee, but notice the rain chances starting to increase across the area. And we do have a cold front that's approaching the area, but this is really going to bring that wrap around moisture, so can't rule out a couple of spotty showers across the Central Valley, but most of the activity will be up towards the Tri-Cities area, so something to kind of keep in mind. Again, not a ton of rain. But in some locations up here in Unicoi County, Washington counties could see upwards of an inch of rain before the day is over. And we do have a, just a little bit of an elevated flood concern right there in Unicoi and Washington counties as well. All right, the forecast for the day today, kids heading off to school. We've started off with uh, 60s and 70s. We'll climb into the mid-80s by lunchtime. And I know it's a half day for a lot of the kids, especially in Knox County. And then we'll stay right there in the uh, upper 80s to low 90s into the afternoon. So our forecast highs will be in the 90s. So here's the deal. We're going to be in the 90s, low to mid-90s across the central southern valley, but because we have the threat for rain and more cloud coverage, we'll actually be in the up, mid to upper 80s to low 90s, maybe even some low 80s up towards the Tri-Cities area. So it is going to be a little bit cooler in upper east Tennessee than it is across the southern valley. The dew points are still going to stay in the 70s today, so it's still going to be a muggy day today. And that's going to allow our heat index values in the 80s, 90s to even low 100s. Chattanooga actually could be reaching close to 107 degrees today, which uh, is definitely another toasty day. So therefore, south of Interstate 40, we have elevated heat stress once again this afternoon. So again, something to keep in mind if you have outdoor plans or practices later on today. 82 degrees by 8 o'clock tonight and then down to 79 degrees by 10. So a nice mild evening, but there is much better weather on the way as we wrap up the weekend, head into the weekend. I'm talking about cooler temperatures. We go from the 90s today down into the mid 80s on Saturday, but it's not just the cooler temperatures, it's actually some drier air. So here's the story, Tropical Storm Debbie, still a tropical storm, which is mind blowing to me. It's just been wobbling across the southeastern coastline, still moving to the northwest at only five miles per hour, like creeping along. But notice how it works its way towards Charlotte, so it's gonna get a little bit closer to East Tennessee, and that's what's gonna throw the moisture our direction. So when you look at your future cast uh, from Debbie, it is going to continue to bring us increasing chances for a couple of rain showers today. Tomorrow, we have about a 20% chance for a couple of spotty showers thanks to a cold front. And then as we get into the weekend, some nice, quiet, dry air and a nice little taste of fall. So here's that future cast. Debbie continues to work its way to the north and northwest. Here comes the cold front as we wrap up our Friday. There's Friday morning. Cold front's gonna swing its way on through. That's going to scoop up Debbie and push Debbie further to the northeast, and so then she'll finally start to race right along. But back behind this cold front, we have some nice, refreshing air. So as the cold front slides off to our southeast, again, a couple of spotty showers can't be ruled out throughout the day on Friday. So Friday night, dew points will be in the 70s, but they're going to fall into the 50s and 60s as we get into our Saturday morning. And that, my friends, is not just going to bring us the drier air for Saturday, it's going to be with us as we get into our Sunday. So this dry air mass starts to work its way on in as a trough swings in, and that's going to bring us the cooler, drier air and that taste of fall. Not quite pumpkin spice latte season yet. You can see our dew points for the weekend are going to be nice. We're going to be in the 50s and 60s. That's just going to be refreshing. Then the dew points start to climb a little bit next week, and we'll elevate our rain chances a little bit next week as well. But really over the next five to seven days, still looks to be trending relatively dry compared to what we started the month with. Temperature trend, we're going to be in the 80s and 90s. So again, a nice weather pattern is setting up shop. And so we're not going to deal with much of a heat index value except for today. Tomorrow we'll still do that, but over the weekend, no heat index value is expected. Actually, if you're going to be heading off to the pools or the lakes this upcoming weekend, it's going to be uh, kind of feeling a little bit on the chilly side when you get out of the water. Thanks to that dry air mass, that's an evaporative process, which is a cooling process. Getting into the middle part of the month, we are going to be trending above average. So it does look like we will see just this nice little break from the extreme heat and humidity, and then the temperatures start to warm back up. So let's check in every once in a while with the East Tennessee Weather App as your kids head back to school. We've got weather updates for you every single day. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here real soon, and your next weather updates coming up at noon today.